check, check. All right, we just loading up the stream. You guys know what it is. If you guys in the chat right now, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Like and subscribe to the video. And we're going to get to it right now. I can't find the group right now. This is what happens when you go live and uh, you're not ready. This is what happens sometimes. All right, all right, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, we got we got Steve Van Devin in the building, Mark Zinka in the building, James Finley in the building. What's up, fam? How you guys doing? Make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up button right now. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know. Drop drop your DJ name in the chat. Drop where you're tuning in from. And we're going, uh, we're going to get to it. Oh, we got Kevin St. Fort in the building. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing today? It's a Wednesday. It's nice. It's not, it's not like frigid cold today. So it's all right. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right to it. We're going to, uh, start this thing. So today we're talking specifically about the baby scratch. If you guys did not check out last week's video, uh, it was kind of like an overview of everything that you need to do to start scratching. Um, when you're scratching, you ri you truly need to think about your your whether you use you're using a controller or um, these reins here. Like it does not matter what kind of gear you're using. Let me be the first one to tell you that. Like you can use any kind of gear. You can use a Pioneer DDJ SB3, like the base model, two hundred dollar one, and you can be cutting on it, and there is no problem. There's no difference. Um, obviously, it gets like I'm not gonna say easier. It's just like a better experience the more you level up and the more you get like better gear um, but you can do it there's nothing that's stopping you from being able to do it and um, when you're using your instrument like that's what this becomes now it's an actual instrument you you do have to follow like the rules of music uh it looks like it's like frozen okay we're good I couldn't tell if it was frozen or not um we got Nikki Tats in the building. What's up, fam? How you doing? How you doing? Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you're using this as a instrument now. So when you're you're playing over a beat or if you're just scratching, you have to think about like the rules of music. Like go back to when you were in school, in high school, wherever it was that you started learning music, like whatever it was that you guys were learning music on too. Like I played a trumpet. Every single instrument has notes, and there's a way to play those notes. Um, so you 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 think like when you're talking about like a baby scratch, um, it, this is kind of like um, I guess like a scale. So now you can take that whole um, array of notes and play them in different forms and start making like what we call them as scratch sentences, like l l freestyles, um, combination scratches. However you want to call it. It, it, you can call it whatever you want, really, but it, it all comes down to taking these notes and putting them in different orders um, and then creating like a sentence or, or a phrase or wh whatever you want to call it. That's like a lot of people will have their own generic, like their own phrase that they do all the time, their own specific combination. Um, but that's going a little bit far. Let's take it back to just thinking about the notes. So the baby scratch itself is just a very basic scratch where all you're doing is using one hand. You got your one hand, whether it's your right or your left, same process, and you're just going forward. <laughs> And then back. So like step one is do the forward. Just push it forward. And that is the name of a scratch as well. Like it's just called a forward scratch. Where you would cut the sound off and then do it again. So that is another type of scratch that you are you are using the fader. So that's, again, a more advanced scratch. All we're talking about today is the baby. So you're going forward. And then pulling it back. Forward. Back. Um, and then how you're going to start using these as notes is like, are you playing them in quarter notes, full notes, half notes? 
um, one eighth notes. That all comes down to like the speed and the pitch at which you're pushing the record. So like, as I said, it doesn't matter what kind of gear you have. This is going to be the same. And like, this is the best way to start because if you're using a controller, it's so easy to just let go of it. And then it's going to do its thing uh, and like pull it back. Um, it's easy to lose it. Um, so you really want to keep your hand on the record here. So you're going to push it forward. That's part one. Like once you can get this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Say, yes, I finally learned my first scratch. Like I've learned this. I'm doing it. I'm getting there. Give yourself a high five. Like it's so important. Um, to give yourself that like celebration when you're trying to learn something because this is difficult and this is something that you've probably never done your entire life. So how how do you think you're just going to come in and start being a sick scratcher? Like when I was starting to learn how to scratch, let me know if this is anything like you guys in the chat uh, and smash that thumbs up if you, this makes sense to you. But you sounded a lot like this. Like you were, you thought, you thought scratching was just being fast and you were just like... Like that was me. That was me 100% for a long time. Uh, it wasn't until I really started taking it serious. I went and got a coach uh, who taught me the proper way to be doing these things. Um, and that's, that's one of the most important things. It's like when we're learning to do something, the biggest deterrent to our success is when we're learning to do things the wrong way. Like when I started to learn how to DJ, I didn't have YouTube or any of that stuff. So I was just trying to figure it out by myself. And I was too proud to go ask somebody for help. So I was just like, I would study guys, I would listen to them on the radio, and then I would just like try and emulate them and figure out what they were doing. That was probably the worst way ever to learn because it just held me back. Like it took me a long time to learn how to DJ after that. Once I learned like the rules and that there's like rules of music and we're going back to music class, like one of the most important things when DJing is like to sit yourself down in a chair and start like learning how like bar structure works and how to count music. That's the absolute, like one of the most imperative skills uh, when it comes to whether you're scratching, mixing, beat mixing, remixing, they're all the same thing because they all follow the rule. Uh, and they all follow like the law of music. Um, and if you're thinking like there's always rules, but there's laws and like these are laws of music. A lot of things can be changed. A lot of things can be broken. But the, the, the laws of music, like the law of gravity cannot be broken. Like if I wanted to go walk to the park right now, I could not just like jump over this house because it's way quicker, like hop over it, like Super Mario with the uh, the moonwalk <laughs> hack on. I, I have to walk all the way around the neighborhood to get to the park. And that's because there's a law of gravity. And when it comes to like beat matching and counting beats, there is a law there and you have to understand that. If not, like you're, you're going to hold yourself back for so long. Um, so let's get into this with music right here. Um, as I was showing you guys, I guess I'll, I'll show you guys right now, essentially like what's a whole note. If you're doing a whole note baby scratch, what is that? One, two, what would be a half note? One, one, two, one. What would be a quarter note? I can't even like speak that fast. And what would be like an eighth note? Uh, I'm just going to check the chat real quick before I turn the beat on. We got Lou Paris in the building. DJ Sin in the building. What's up, guys? Dennis DeSalne in the building. Virak. This guy, Virak, is the man. He's killing it. We got Gerald Wilson in the building. DJ J. Will checking in from Aiken. You know what it is. Make sure you guys are like dropping your DJ names in the chat. Say what's up. Let me know where you guys are tuned in from and smash that thumbs up button and we're going to get to it right now. So we're going to turn a beat on um, and I'm, I'm just going to show you like this is how you guys should be practicing. This is going to be like super boring. Like most of the stuff that I teach you, it's like some of the most boring stuff. But this is the most important thing, like learning the proper way to do things. If not, if you can't do this stuff at a very slow pace, you're never going to be able to do it fast. You're never going to be able to start doing a transformer scratch if you can't just do like a basic baby scratch. It is never going to happen. Um, so you have like you have to spend this time to do this. Um, so we're going to do this in full notes right now. I'll go full notes and I'll go down to half notes again. 
quarter notes uh, and then eighth notes. So let's, I'll try and count it out. Eventually, I'm gonna have to stop counting just because I can't like I can't do it all together. But uh, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go down to like quarter notes. I think that was actually eighth. Yeah, at that point I was doing eighth notes and, and that was um, that one right there was like a half note to a quarter night, note uh, and that's the next thing that we're going to like start talking about is how to start combinationing these up. Uh, just checking the chat, no questions in the chat. If you guys have questions, always drop them in the chat and like that's the only way that I can now interact with you right now. Uh, most times I get a lot of questions um, after the fact and it's like I'm not live, I'm not on video, I can't really help you out. Um, when I'm not there, but while I'm here, like any questions that you guys have, please drop them here and I will always answer them. Um, but, uh, as I was saying, now we're going to go to like, how do you start taking these like a, um, a full note? How do you make, how do you make that sound like cool? How do you make this sound better? Like it's obviously going to be boring just doing a full note all the time. But you have, like, you need that muscle memory. If you can't do that at that speed, like, super slow, you're never going to do it fast. But once you do have that down, once you've practiced that, like, you only have to practice that for, like, maybe a week. Uh, and even saying a week, like, that's a long time to be able to get that down. But from there, like, how do you make it start sounding cool? You, you just, you do, you take all of those notes the same way, like, back when you were doing music class, you take all of those notes, put them together, and uh, make, like, a sentence, or you make your, your little scratch um, combination, whatever you want to call it. So, with a baby scratch, like, I'll just show you a combination first, and then we'll break that down. <laughs> And very simply, that's just like, that, that's very simple to do. You're just um, doing combinations of those different notes. So like a, a full. So that's a full. Two, uh, two halves. So let's put that back over the beat. So for that one, uh, that one's like even simpler. Full. Waiting for a beat again. Um, and, and that's all it really comes down to. Like once you understand that very basic skill, you can you you can do the um the the slow movement. Once you can do a a, a full baby scratch, and then you can do a half. Oh, 
Uh, and then you can do a quarter. Now all you have to do is put those together. Um, so if nobody else has any questions, I guess that's it for today. Um, that was just really breaking down the baby scratch, how to use it, how to do it in a combo, how to like properly practice the scratch. Um, that's the most important thing for all of us DJs is um, when we learn the incorrect way, we're going to start forming these bad habits. We're going to do these bad habits over and over and over again. We're going to start learning to think that like that's the right way to do things. Uh, and all that's going to do is hold us back forever. So... Um, yeah, I'll check one more time. If there ain't no questions, uh, I'm going to have to cut this off, man. Nice seeing you guys this is the DJ connect live. Uh, if you guys need more help, um, with your skills, definitely join the DJ connect.com. Join my, fr um, my private group. I have all the videos for a bunch of scratches, transformer, stab scratch, uh, and more full business course, um, teaching you how to open your own DJ business, how to start making money, uh, with your skills. Like the worst thing is buying DJ gear and then it just sits there forever. It starts getting dusty. And at one point you had this dream that you wanted to become a DJ. You wanted to make people dance and be happy. And then you just let that dream go because you never took the time out of your day to learn how to do these things, to the proper way to start getting yourself booked, how to market yourself. Like if you don't know these things, we all don't know the things that we don't know. You have to go to someone else who has that knowledge, like someone who has been there, who has walked that path and learn from the actual people. Like the worst thing to do, like the worst kind of information to learn is bad information. Like you don't go to your broke friend and ask them how to get rich. Like you will stay broke for the rest of your life. The only way you're going to get rich is to go to somebody who is rich and ask them what they did. Like how did they get there? You never want to go to like someone you know, your, your best friend, even though they haven't been there. Like you don't want to talk to them about like getting better, like learning new skills. You don't talk to them. You talk to the people who actually have those skills. So make sure you guys check it out. The DJ connect.com. Um, always drop your questions in the chat. If you're watching the replay hashtag replay, and I will check you guys out next week. Let's go. Oh, we got Joel, Joel Sakara in the building. <laughs> What's up, this is 50 Cent. What's up, everybody? I'm Eminem. Yo, it's your boy Lil John. Alright, is it recording? Scale live or live. Yes. This is DJ Cache. Repping the Supreme DJs.